the shit get in mass production. So if it's in mass production, they may even get out faster. They won't uh, take everything from a brother all the time. So like, so we we go from go by TV instead of uh, all the time going um, to what's real. Hey, three, 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 thirty-three, thirty-three. My odd balance. Uh, the Goetia, the lesser key of Solomon the king. Um, so he has all these these parts of the mind. He was saying you have the crew of a hundred on your ship, right? So this is the Goetia. You have the Goetia. You can look at you. Ha you have uh, different types of books. They all damn near have different names from different areas. You have you have the uh, deities in the Enochian. Um, uh, the Enochian magic of Dr. John D, which is by our melanated ancestors. They just, I'm saying, they got to put it out because he was actually a mage or a mage for the Queen of England at the time. And she was, he was able to uh, use our information where we left behind in England. See, we have another one, the book of the sacred magic of Abra Melin. They say Abracadabra. It's another word you can use instead of Kadabra. You can look that up. The book of the sacred magic of Abra Melin, the mage. Abra Melin is the, the version of Abraham that's the melanated version, the mage, the magician. So there's, there's some deities inside of here. So the person, S. McGregor, McGregor Mathers, he he helped, he was, um, he worked with Alistair Crawley to make the Goetia book, okay? Just certain things that we left, we left behind, they was able to publish for us. We can get it back, see? See what I'm saying? So... It's crazy how, how the ancestors really work and you uh you letting your your body be used and because reason why you were the you were the the hidden god the god you can't see but you see a physical body Ooh, nothing spooky about it it's just the way you can just move around and get the information and it's a locker for you this is terrible leviathan will find you and it's a locker for you this is terrible leviathan will find you Drag the pillow back to the depths that you belong with it. You see, the Leviathan will come and destroy you. You, you feel like you got gotten away and you got back out in this physical. Like, yeah, I got away. I survived death. No, not just that. Crazy thing is, you're not just surviving death. You actually not, you're not, you're just getting away from your, your actual job or what you're supposed to be doing. So getting rid of the ego, the physical body disappears. All you, all you see is what you see through your eye, not your physical eye, but your first eye, what people call the third eye, all right? Now, let me show you a little piece of what Leviathan has done. So, you see his hat, right? I saw a little bit of before I had to come back to this part of the movie so I can record this and show this show this, verse, show this to you. Okay, uh, you see his hat? Uh, this is traces of him. So, like, when you leave something behind, like the police, they they able to find... Like a DNA, or you left your, you had this shirt on, these shoes. They look at your footprints from the shoes, and they were to track you. Okay, so he uh, realized something, and then left something behind, so um, he can uh, throw off Leviathan because he's not trying to do the real work. He's trying to live his physical life. So let me show you something. I already told you, Jack. Right now, when he touched him, he's going to show him what he would really be. It comes now. So, it's like uh, Madame Lavosky. So, she all of a sudden got a whole bunch of occult information after Pascal Beverly Randolph died. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the same with Alistair Crawley. They got really big after all of his uh, information was... They say they, A lot of people say that his information was taken. And it was taken after his death. So... That's just, that's the word. So, you know what I mean? So, that's, that's how it's messed up. So, answers, they say, hey, we could probably get more accomplished if we got a, shit, a lot of more shit published if it came from um, white faces. So, they, have, they had to use these, uh, these those bodies in order to get the information out because the information is more important than what a person looks like. So, like with me, like, that's why I say I don't go off of what I look like. I go off of my information. You know what I mean? So, I'm, I don't get paid off of this. What I'm getting paid, I'm getting spiritual finances. I get my, that's my spiritual, um, I get spiritually paid. You know what I mean? And it can translate over if you know how to do things right. But uh, let me keep the, the subject matter where it is. So, uh, 
uh, right here. It comes now. So he's going to show him. So he says, without the dark, the darkness. So Madame Lavosky, she said, no, um, no shadow, no God. So if you don't have the melanin or the right type of melanin or the right uh, amount, you won't have that deity. In, sorry, but it, it, they, they can take any body they want, body they want. But the thing is, they know who and what people will be able to go off of what. So by being a judge of things, by people, uh, by how, how the, the climate is, not just like climate, how cold or hot it is, of what the, um, the um, how the climate of information is being uh, sifted out and what's going on around in the world. Okay, let me show you something of what, they, what he's telling them. The time is up. Now he's showing them what he would be. now. We roam with the ravenous hunger to the man what bears the black spot. The black spot. You see the black dot, the uh, melanin, drawn with ravenous hunger. Hunger, we said, when you get hungry, I'm, I'm hangry. To the man that, what, uh, to the man, wait, drawn with the ravenous hunger, to the man what bears the black spot. You have the circle and the dot. That means what? The black dot is what? It's like damn near your mind. But it's like you have the two dots. In the stomach, a lower and a higher so. So, uh, if you see the, uh, a picture of the the Sri Yantra, S H R I or S R I um, Y A N T R A. You should be able to look it up on Google. You'll see a picture of a dot in a circle and a whole bunch of lines around it. The dot in the middle, that's what the melanin is. That's what you are. The black dot or the black spot. Melanin. Drawn with ravenous hunger to the man what bears the black spot. He is not really eating. Ravenous hunger is pushing out. I'm angry. I'm hangry. Fuck. Give me some food. I'll fuck this shit up. As you saw his hand decaying, he, he, he saw what he would really be. If he wasn't doing what he's supposed to do, see the look of of surprise on his face. Why why so surprised? You can't run away from what your your, your duty is. You letting your ego get in the best of you. So he that's why you see his physical body in front of him, in front of us that we see in a movie. So when he saw what he really would be, he was like, oh, that's that's that is true. Uh, I would I was supposed to be up out of here. I was supposed to be dead. Yeah, because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you um. You get into use to your physical flesh. See, so that he was really talking to his actual, the actual deity or the higher self of the actual person he was talking to, and the um, that's why he, when he died, uh, when, when he died, he stayed the same way because. He didn't. He didn't go back into. He stayed into his higher self. He can do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. <laughs> he said, "I didn't. I don't. I'm not gonna resist." And he. He. He's. He's in his. He's in his ego. See, he's like, "Oh, I can't. I can't go back." So I'm trying to run away from that ravenous, hungerish Leviathan. Leviathan. Let me show you what Leviathan will do. Cause he threw his hat off, and now he's able to uh, track his hat. Leviathan was, and he's gonna devour it. Whoever somebody had his, uh, somebody else had his hat. And they, they get a ship got devoured. Check this out. Run them. Run. Keep running. Run as if the devil himself, himself, and itself is upon us. That what the snake is, it's like the inside of your, your lower self, your stomach, like it's what your hell is, and then your mind is your heaven. You're supposed to balance it with your heart. So he that's what he's been chased by, Leviathan. Because he you you keep uh you keep eating, that's putting stuff on top of Leviathan. So he said, I'm not hungry. I already ate something. So, okay.
Run. Leave it. Run. It's a, it's a way to throw, uh, trying, trying to throw Leviathan off the trail, okay, of finding him. Now, as you just saw, the bubbles from the water, as in the abyss, the water in your stomach, um, there's nothing covering it. So that, that, that growling in your stomach is getting louder and louder. That was symbolistic of the Leviathan looking for Jack Sparrow. And they have the hat, so now the, the Leviathan is on a trail of somebody uh, of the hat, but it's not really Jack Sparrow. Now, as you see, Leviathan had collapsed that body, uh, the body of the ship, the ship, and it had a hundred um, uh, shipmates on it. So the shipmates are the actual uh, demons or Damians, which is your genius or genie. You have three wishes. Remember, genie, you have three wishes. Same thing. So I'm giving you three wishes. You have three uh, three glands, pituitary gland, hypothalamus gland, and pineal gland. Same thing. You're getting three wishes. This is all symbolic in these movies, cartoons, books, whatever it is. You know, they just have to disguise it. These people, the directors, they go to school for mythology and receive, go through these courses and receive, um, like, high-paying jobs and, and receive uh, degrees behind this. So, as you see, he collapsed the Leviathan, uh, collapsed the ship. The ship is looked at as the body. So, if they have the body, it, it'll take you out. You're looking to take you out, and destroy you. Said, uh, why they said the Nephilim, and you see, you find a Nephilim in jail. The Nephilim are just the fallen ones, um, the fallen ones. So, and he's the, the, the Leviathan is collapsing the body because it's like, I'll destroy you or uh, put you, uh, make you do something crazy or just or destroy your actual physical because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're trying to run. That's why Jack was saying, run, run. And that was why he threw the hat off in order to throw Leviathan off. But he, the Leviathan would find out, already know, that that's not really Jack Sparrow. That was just his hat. So I haven't seen the rest of the movie yet. This is where I left off. And I got all of that from a few seconds of a movie. And that's just that's just a little bit. All right? And, um, this, of course, it's going to be a, this is a part one and part two. So this is part two of this video. I'm going to leave a, I'm going to leave a link um, from part one to lead to part two. If you're watching this, you're actually looking at part two, of course. So I'm going to leave a link from part two, uh, on there, on part one. So you can, um, so you're able to see it and go back and forth between you two. All right. Peace. I shade. I shade. I shade. I shade.